What's up, everyone? This is Alligamera Pudding, and we will be watching some scary ghost doll videos. Um, if you're not allowed to watch some creepy stuff or ghost stuff, then you probably shouldn't watch this. There's a lever in there. You're gonna love it. No, that's not creepy, I don't think. Because she's holding it tight. This? And my husband, Hervey, were on the couch. Brianna was playing. What is my child seeing? Guys, is this... 8.30, we're sitting on the couch. He... And he started to bark. Up. All of a sudden, he sat up. And... No, not that. No, 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 that's too scary. And there might be some swears. If you're not allowed to listen to swears, then or see. Just like that. But it's fine. Uh What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 haunted dolls caught moving on camera part 2. Now a couple weeks ago, go in the comments, anyway, but the more you watch, the scarier it gets. I mean, seeing this little girl playing with her dolls all alone is kind of weird anyway, but when you notice what the dolls are doing, the weirdness hits a whole other level. Not just that, but after a while, it starts to move all by itself, swaying and nodding its head like it's asking the little girl if it could join in. That's really creepy. I'm getting the goosebumps right now. This m moving its head and bobbing it. Oh my god, I'd be screaming. Now that's scary enough to make me throw away the dolls for sure, but obviously she didn't because creepy stuff just keeps happening to her. Like she's just quietly coloring when all of a sudden all the paper starts to move before flying off the table completely. Now obviously the kid is freaked out and she runs away, but the cameras are still running, so we get to see the table start to drag itself across the room too. Honestly, I have no idea whether the doll is making that happen or if whatever possessed the doll just moved into the room, but still, I think it might be time for them to move out. Yeah, yeah, same. Number four. Creepy. Okay, so if I'll be. That's legit creepy. Totally honest, someone should have guessed this doll was bad news because it looks way too terrifying to be normal. I mean, come on, look at it. It's dressed all in black with a creepy white face and huge eyes. I mean, it's. Ba I know what happens. Um. Basically, look. The doll makes it roll. This candle roll or whatever. It's like it came straight out of a horror movie. Yes, it does. Anyway, it seems like this is another doll that got jealous, because while this mom was asking her kid about her new toy, the doll was sat in the background listening. And then that brings us to the biggest mistake, because as soon as the daughter calls the toy lovable, you can see the doll raise its arm, and what happens after that is even crazier. Like, as soon as it moves its arm, the candle starts to roll away, even though the two of them definitely weren't touching it. I mean, it's almost like the doll could make stuff around it move, and it wasn't too happy that its owner had a new favorite toy. I mean, let's be real here. If I was that little girl, I'd think I'd throw away the lovable bear altogether because I wouldn't want to make a doll that creepy angry. I mean, would you guys? Hi, baby. Hi. You like your new toy? Rip headphone users. I'm a headphone user and... Toy? Yeah. R.I.P. What's his name? Lovable. Lovable? You sure his name isn't like... Fred or Henry? 
God. Number three. Now, I'm not gonna pretend this is the worst jump scare ever made, but considering it's real life, you gotta admit, it's kinda creepy. I mean, this little girl is just making two of her Barbie dolls have a cute little conversation, but one of them decides to show it's really not happy with the game. Basically, after she responds to her dad this is gonna move its head left. Talking to her from another room, one of the Barbie snaps its head around to look at her and stares at her straight in the face. Now, obviously the girl screams and drops it, and the whole thing goes by so fast it's hard to know what happened, but slowing it right down just makes it even scarier. Like, there is no mistaking what happens. The Barbie looks around all by itself, and something about the way it does is totally mad. So yeah, I think it's about time we start burning all these dolls, because man, it's getting really creepy. Yes, it does. <laughs> 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 just throws them in the air and then just falls back. Number two. Okay, so there isn't really that many things out there that are creepier than a spooky old doll, but a whole collection of them is definitely worse. Yeah. Like this woman had tons and tons of them all laid out in one corner. But when she decided to film her scary little family for a video, she got way more than she bargained for. Like having to look at each of them in the face as the camera goes by is bad enough. But then one of the dolls does something straight up terrifying, then goes back to acting like nothing happened. To be fair, it's pretty small and pretty quick, but one of the dolls definitely moves. Like, it's kind of hard to see, but as the camera goes past, it quickly moves its arm back to its side, like it's scared that it's gonna get caught out. Then it just completely freezes straight after, and it happens so quickly that you could almost kid yourself into thinking you made it up, but no, the creepy doll totally moved. The scariest thing is that it's easy to imagine that they're all alive, and whenever their owner goes to sleep, they all start wandering around the house getting up to who knows what. I mean, that'd be crazy, it'd be like Toy Story in real life, except it's really creepy dolls. Number one. Camera, so this video is creepy all by itself. When you take into account the doll's super scary backstory, it's even harder to watch. Basically, the previous owner gave up this weird looking puppet because it apparently tried to strangle him while he slept. Like he literally snuck into his room and tried to kill him while his wife slept beside him. So obviously he gave it away to an expert who locked it in a glass box and filmed it for months, trying to prove that it really was more than it seemed. And so yeah, she pretty much managed it because some of the footage is so hard to explain that, well, there's only one real logical explanation that we all know. Like it gets so terrifying. I mean, you can see the puppet's little wooden cross move away from it all the way across the box. And then it suddenly drops to the floor again in the corner. And there's a video on the top five haunted dolls moving on Oh my god, that was creepy. Camera part two. Well, if you liked that, this video, and you thought it was creepy, smash that like button. Also, also subscribe. Man, I'm probably going to have a nightmare.